In this screencast I'm going to talk to you about the ideal gas law and in relation to pressure volume diagrams. So here we have the equation PV equals RT. Now you may have seen this previously as PV equals NRT but for the purposes of PV diagrams it's much more convenient to use the molar volume. So this is meter cubed per mole and we can also express this as PV equals RT but the thing that's changed here is that we've put the units as megapascals and then centimeters cubed per mole um, but we still have the same gas constant because we, the units can also be as, as shown and so that's just a useful thing to bear in mind as we look at some examples so if we look at the calculations for this we can plot out different pressures for different molar volumes and different temperatures so all we have to do is take the, um, the temperature times by the gas constant and divided by the volume and we'll get a pressure there and this has been done as pressure in megapascals volume in centimeters cubed per mole and if we plot this out just for one of the temperatures here 304.1 kelvin we see this sort of 1 over x behavior with this curve. If we now plot in the critical point for this example, this is for CO2. This is the critical point, so this is the critical volume, the critical pressure. We can see that this isotherm goes nowhere near this, but actually this isotherm is for the critical temperature, and so we can see it's not really modeling the behavior correctly. Um, so that's because there are some assumptions for the ideal gas law, it's, it's um, the assumptions are that the volume occupied by the gas molecules is negligible and also that there's no force of attraction between the gas molecules. This makes it unreliable at low temperatures and or at high pressures and we can't predict the vapor liquid coexistence and so there are limitations to what we can do with the ideal gas law. Um, there are other equations of state that are more advanced that start to overcome some of these assumptions and we'll look at these in later videos. But to start with that is how we can sort of use the ideal gas law to start to look at pressure volume diagrams.